Here are the top five books I recommend for voiceover success. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Jesse Carroll, professional voice actor and coach. And today, we're gonna get into the top five books that I recommend for voiceover success. Now, all these books that I've read, I listen to them on Audible. I, they're audiobooks, I listen to them that way. Uh, the narrators are all great, and studies have shown that you actually retain more information when you listen to the book. Even better if you can do it, get the hard book and the audio book and do it together. I, I don't, but I heard that that's like the best way to retain information. I just listen to the audio book over and over and over again. So that's how I do it. So without further ado, let's Let's get into it. Now, the way that I'm recommending these books is I'm putting them in order of which books I think you should read first. They're all fantastic books. You can certainly read them out of sequence if you want, but I just think you're gonna get the most out of it when you read each one in this particular order because it kind of helps and goes into the next one so you can go deeper. Now, what we have first up, the first book that I think you should read on this list is an absolute banger. We have Mindset by Carol Dweck. So everybody throughout their life has mindsets that they've learned from their teachers, their parents, their coaches, and it's usually one of two mindsets. Mindsets. You either have a growth mindset or a fixed mindset. Most people have a fixed mindset, unfortunately, and this blocks you off from a lot of things. And it's not your fault. You didn't develop this on your own. You learn this from other people. You know, people telling you that you're not good at things or you'll never achieve success at certain things. You can find this anywhere from like subjects in school and sports or whatever it is. So if you have a fixed mindset, you think that the athletic ability that you have right now is all you, that's all you have. Like you're never going to get better than that. That. Or if you think that you are not good at math, then you're never gonna learn that. You're never gonna get better at it because some people are just not good at math. And that's all bullshit. That's stuff that you've learned. Carol Dweck explores this in this book and shows you the benefits of a growth mindset. And literally anybody, anybody can get better at anything. There's very few things that most people can't do in life unless you have like a severe mental handicap. And if you do, my heart goes out to you. I couldn't imagine what you're dealing with. But pretty much, I would say 99% of the people in the world can learn anything, can do anything. And how this pertains to voiceover is in the beginning of voiceover, there's a lot of information to take in. The learning curve is really steep and then it levels out. And you know, I have people like students that I deal with all the time. They're like, listen, I'm not sure if I can do the editing part. I'm not a tech person. Yes, you can. Just got to have an open mind, a growth mindset and know that maybe you might not be a person who can learn the tech stuff right now. You can learn it and eventually you'll make it a strength. I always look at all my stuff since this book, since I've read mindset. I look anything I look at anything that I'm not good at and I focus in on it. I hammer in on it until it goes from being a weakness to a strength. And I owe that to this book, Mindset. It's it's a killer. I can't do a full review on a video because I'm trying to keep it less than 10 minutes. It's probably going to go a, bit, a little bit longer than 10 minutes. My editor is going to hate me again. Um, but just know that this one here, Mindset, sets like the, the base, the base level for you to be able to get a lot better at voiceover a lot quicker. Mindset by Carol Dweck. Get it. So good. Following that, following that up at the number two spot, the second book that I think you should read is Relentless by Tim S. Grover. For those of you who don't know who Tim S. Grover is, he is Michael Jordan's personal coach. When Michael Jordan was in just getting into the NBA and he was with the Chicago Bulls, he was trying to up his game and get better and just dominate the court. And we know how that turned out. Tim S. Grover is the person that helped him on that journey. Um, he also worked with Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, to name a few, a whole bunch of superstars. And his... <laughs> His mindset is relentless. It really is. And luckily, I read this book before I got into voiceover, and it informed exactly how I was going to attack voiceover and still do to this day. Most people, when they get into it, they try it a little bit. They'll take like a weekly class. Uh, that's not how I did it. I did it relentlessly. I jumped in and did the things that other people weren't willing to do. I worked like 10, 12 hours on it a day. And in the beginning, it took me 250 auditions to book my first job. It took me a long time, but I was relentless. I would not quit. And I really went for it. And this book, you'll be so pumped up by the end of this book. You'll be like, give me a script. I want to record voiceover right now. It's so good. Yeah. Relentless by Tim S. Grover. Coming in hot at the number three spot, we have Grit by Angela Duckworth. This one, very similar to Relentless, is about developing grit. It talks about why some people succeed at things and other people fail. And this is just indispensable information if you're gonna do voiceover because you need a lot of grit, a lot of determination. You need a relentless mindset, a growth mindset, all three of these books, and especially grit. Because in the beginning, it takes it's hard to get this thing off the ground, voiceover, to get your voiceover business. It's difficult in the beginning and it gets easier over time, but you gotta have grit. You gotta get through 
through it. You know, all the time in my community and in coaching students, once they usually get to about the 50 audition mark, um, I'll do 50 auditions in a day, but I understand in the beginning, that's a daunting task. But you know, a couple of weeks will go by and people will tell me I've done 50 auditions. Like, is this ever gonna happen for me? It's only 50 auditions. It took me 250. So I think at that time right there where people kind of lose hope and they're like, I've done 50 auditions. I haven't booked a job. What do I do? That book Grit is gonna help you get past that. You'd be like, okay, 50 more. Let's do 50 more. Let's do 50 more. And then maybe it'll take you as long as it took me, 250 auditions to book your first job. But then you'll think, you know what? Maybe I'll get my second job in 100 auditions and then maybe 50 auditions and so on and so forth until you got a professional booking rate of around one in 40 auditions to like one in 50 auditions that you go for, you'll book. Um, and that's doable quickly. But you gotta have grit, you gotta be relentless and you gotta have a growth mindset. In the number four spot, we have 10X by Grant Cardone. Now, Grant Cardone, love him or hate him, this man embodies the 10X spirit. And what I mean by 10X is basically like what normal people would do for work to try and promote their business or how they work on learning a new skill. You do 10 times that, 10 times that. I particularly like the section in this book where Grant Cardone talks about being omnipresent. So how that would work for a voiceover is you are on every social media channel talking about voiceover in any kind of way to promote your business. You're on every single pay to play site. You're on all the free pay to play sites, the, the non pay to play, the, the play sites. <laughs> You're just everywhere trying to be uh, omnipresent and you're working at it all day, every day, just until you can get it off the ground. Um, that book I read when I was a stand up comedian. And it helped me in a huge way when I was doing the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. My first festival went okay, but I found out that it didn't promote nearly enough. So in the second one, um, I got like a thousand posters and we spent all night, late at night, postering like four blocks of giant wall for four blocks in the middle of downtown Melbourne. I, I can't believe we didn't get arrested doing that because I I, you probably need a permit doing that. But literally I was posting over top of posters. It was a wall of posters promoting my, my show. And and it worked. The first show I did, like the, it packed out. There was a ton of people that came and that was the only show that packed out because my show wasn't any good. Because <laughs> I should have spent 10X the amount of effort developing the show before I started promoting it. But that's a story for another day and I'm a voice actor, not, not a comedian anymore. But um, 10X is an incredible book for your voiceover career. It'll really give you um, that can do and uh, that that um, that spirit of working, outworking the competition, working as hard as you can because you, you it's not gonna take a lot for you to outwork other voice actors because most people are lazy. They don't think that they're lazy and then they hear how much I work and they go, oh my God, really? Now you don't have to work as hard as I can, but in the beginning, I highly recommend it because like I said, it's hard getting this thing off the ground in the beginning until you develop some credits and you have a reel and you know, you, you got a professional demo and like all the things you need to do. So in the beginning, you got to work your ass off like really, really hard, 10 times as hard as everybody else and you'll get results quicker. Elon Musk once said, and you can see this on the internet, just Google this. Um, he says, in the beginning when he was getting uh, his companies off the ground, he was talking about if the competition is working 40 hours a week and you're working 80 hours a week, you're gonna get there twice as fast. And it's true. And that's what you gotta do in voiceover. 10X by Grant Cardone, highly recommend. Now in the number five spot, this book, <laughs> it should be obvious to people to get something like this, but most people don't think about it until they're at the professional level and they've read all the books and done all the things. They're like, what else? What kind of information would be useful? This book in the number five spot is the Adweek Copywriter's Handbook by Joseph Sugarman. This, this book is so indispensable for the voice actor. You know, all we do is read copy. All we do is read scripts. And it would behoove you to understand why the copywriter has written those words that you're about to say. It's indispensable. Read the other books I said on this list first and read this one at the number five spot. We have this as the fifth book that you read and the audiobook is great. Um, the, the narrator is fantastic and it doesn't lag at all. And you're gonna have invaluable insight into why the copywriter wrote the script in the way that he did that you're reading. And you're never gonna look at an ad the same way. You know, the one thing that you're gonna find out is in the beginning, they talk about copywriting as a slippery slide. The first sentence that you write in copywriting needs to intrigue the reader enough to read the second sentence and enough to read the third, fourth and fifth. So those are the people that are hiring you, right? So it would behoove you to understand why they did that. So the next time you do an audition, you're gonna know that the first sentence that you deliver is not intriguing is not good. 
if it doesn't compel them to listen to the next sentence and so on, they're not gonna listen to your whole audition, you know? And this makes so much sense because on voices.com, they say on average, the client will listen to the first three to four seconds of your audition before they move on and go to the next one if you haven't hooked them in. And it makes sense because these are people that understand copywriting that are hiring you. And if you're not hooking them in the first three to four seconds, they know that you're not gonna hook the listeners on a radio ad or an internet ad or whatever the ad is. If that voice isn't hooking them in, they're like, nope, that's not the person. So it'll give you a more well, more well-rounded understanding of the entire voiceover process and why those words that you're reading are the way that they are. So that's the list of the top five books. Read them in that order. Get the audiobook. It'll make it easier. Um, get the hard copy too if you want to be if you want to be a superstar. And let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if they helped you. Let me know what you thought of those books. Let's start a discussion. Now, before I sign off here, I'm gonna give you one last bonus book, a number six. This one you can read it anytime you want, and I highly recommend it, especially if you're new in voice acting. This book that I'm about to tell you, it embodies everything that I teach about voiceover, but in a way more articulate manner in a very thin book. It is called Authentic Commercial Voiceover by Dave Beeson. Dave Beeson, who is a very lovely human being, by the way. What's up, Dave, if you're watching this? Um, it's perfect. This book, there's no fluff in it. It's it's a workbook. So if you're new, get the hard copy and the audio book because they kind of go together. Well, not kind of, they actually go together. And you can read this and listen to it in an afternoon and you will be, you'll be way better just from reading this. You'll understand that when you're doing voiceover, you don't need to put on a voice. You don't need to be like the big announcer performer. And the authentic commercial voiceover, being authentically you, that's the hardest thing for people to grasp in the beginning. It's just letting go of what you think voiceover is and getting to your true self in the heart of you and, and opening up and just daring to be you. So authentic commercial voiceover by Dave Beeson. Highly recommend it. Get it. Get all the other books on the list. And let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you enjoyed this book list, uh, let me know which ones you've read already. Um, and let me know how the journey goes. Keep in touch. Now, aside from that, if you're looking to go deeper in voiceover, check the links below. I've got a six week voiceover jumpstart program where you work with me directly. I also have my community in the links below, which is fantastic. It's been growing. Everybody's lovely there. People are getting work and getting their questions answered. A um, lot more information about that in the link below. And other than that, thank you very much, everybody, for watching this video. Thank you for liking and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate you. And other than that, we will see you in the next one. Peace. And other than that, thank you very much. And other than that, thank you very much.